Welcome to the Nightly Rant with your, your hosts, hosts, Mike and Toria. This is the show where we examine society from a sarcastic point of view. If you like insane conversations, this is definitely the show for you. Let's get into today's topic. YPN people, I don't know about you, but I love helping out a friend. That's why I want to shout out my friend Brian Little and his podcast, Your Favorite Blockhead. This is the only show that manages to weave together peanuts and MMA into one heck of an amazing podcast. You can find your favorite blockhead wherever your favorite podcasts reside and at yourfavoriteblockhead.com. Do me a huge favor and listen to Brian's show. You'll be entertained and you'll help out a friend. Now, as I said, let's get into today's topic. We used to complain about being so busy over a weekend. I don't like to be busy on the weekend. Remember like 99% when, of the time. Remember when like Mitchell would have soccer tournaments? One, like during the summertime, it would be like twice a month there would be soccer tournaments. And it would always be, it seemed to me, it would always be on the weekends that were not our weekend. Right. So we still had to take him because, of course, rightfully so, she had to work. But we still had to take him there. And be there the whole entire time. We didn't have a choice. You know? Right. And we used to complain about, oh, my God, we never have any free time. We never have any free time. So then we move here, and we're doing pretty good. We've admitted before on here about how we do more here than we did there. And I think a lot of that is just that we have less people to be responsible for. You're responsible for yourself and me, and I'm responsible for me and you. And that's it. And the zoo. Don't forget the zoo. I'm talking they're, about they're... people that we're responsible for. People. There's no people in our zoo. The zoo are people, too. No, they're not. Yes, they they're are. animals. That's why people. they're in a zoo. Anyway, the long and short of it is, we, we've been doing a lot here, right? Like, it's been entertaining. Yes. But did we go off the deep end or what this week? It's it's not even just this week. It's, like, upcoming in the future as well. Like Yeah, we, we spent um, Wednesday night at a Golden Knights game. Which was... Highly entertaining. Yes, it was great. Um, and that place, that that T-Mobile Arena, first of all, dude, finally a real tangible physical benefit other than some hokey gift from T-Mobile, an actual physical tangible benefit of being a T-Mobile customer. We got to go in a special we door. We walked in a special door to the T-Mobile Arena where nobody else was waiting. There was no line at all. We literally walked right up. Went through the metal detector and walked right in. Done. That was amazing. Okay. Right. And that place was rad, like multi level. It reminded me a lot of the Staples Center. Except way newer and way nicer. Yeah, sleek, really sleek. Lots of pink, of course, everywhere. Well, of course. And then there's a whole level, in there. an entire level of nothing but luxury suites. Entire level. Yeah. But I also think, I mean, we, we sat in a way back in the corner. Yeah. And I don't think you could get a bad seat in that place. Um I mean I think I mean, as far as bad seats go, where we were sitting was probably the worst you could get. Which is saying a lot because I think our seats were great. But we were on like the back side of the thing that descended yeah. and and whatever. So it was But I'll say this. But I'll say this though. I would feel like the actual worst seats are near that or that castle band is playing thing. in that castle. I would not want to be there. And it's not because the view is any worse, because it's not. It's just so dang noisy in your head. Like when we went, like you said, it's exactly like when we went to the last Rams game that was at the LA Coliseum. And we had bought the tickets late, and I got them on StubHub for like 10 bucks each. I mean, they were freaking cheap seats. And we were way at the top. Well, there's no problem with that, because you could still see. It's, you know, it's fine. The only problem was the announcer's speaker was right there. And so all the loud music came out there. Blah, Everything. Blah, blah. It, was, it was not great. It was terrible. So, was yes, terrible. I agree with you. Those would be worse. But, I mean, there, you're right. There are no real bad seats in there. Just earplug necessary seats. So, of course, you know, Golden Knights won that game against Colorado. They won 7-1. Uh, to one. So that was, a, that was kind of a nice thing. Yeah. They, they, they shellacked them in the first two periods. It was... Six to nothing. 
going yeah. into the third period. I mean, that's crazy. So then, then we had a day off that Thursday, um, but we ended up going to see um, a band that we like play at a local casino here, and it was a freebie. So we went to that and um, saw them play. And then Friday was the um, Pacific Coast League um, championship game between... Um, the Reno Aces. Reno. And who was the other team? Now, I can't even remember. So that's how bad they were. They were super bad. Ah, <laughs> we were just at the game, but we can't remember the damn team they played. Oh, the Chihuahuas, El Paso. Oh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. So we saw that. and The Chihuahuas, they Chihuahuaed. Yeah, it Reno, was Reno wah, beat wah, them. Wah. Reno beat them. Then we went the next day to the International League championship game between Durham and... Um, Nashville. Nashville. And we were hoping for Nashville to win. Oh, my God. It was eight to nothing by like the fifth inning. So we were like, we, that same band that we liked, and actually I have that day wrong. We did not do anything on Thursday. That was a different Thursday that we yeah. went to that band. Sorry, I melded the week together. That's how busy it's been. Yes. But then, then we go the next night, right, for that, and we're sitting there in the game. We're like, you know what? Velvet Elvis plays at eight o'clock. It's like 7.15. We could get out of here. It's and eight we, to nothing. Let's and go. We could, we could just go. And then she's like, "Well, we'd miss the most epic comeback." And I go, "Yeah, it's way lopsided. It's not even that they're. It's not even that they're just not playing well. They're getting beaten." The like final these, score was thirteen to nothing. Yeah, it was we thirteen nothing. to nothing. It was it was a spank. Okay. Yeah. So then that team, Durham, has to play Reno on Sunday for the championship of AAA baseball. Right. So, you know, I kind of enjoyed. This weekend, for one big reason, all three days, I didn't have a dog in the fight at all. Sure, we picked who we wanted to cheer for because it's not fun if you're just sitting there going, well, I don't care what happens. Who cares? Right. You, know, you have to have some kind of investment in it. But in, in the end, are you devastated if they lose? No, because it's not your team. You don't care. I was mostly disappointed that those asshats, one section over for us, got to celebrate. Well, yeah, because, okay, you're giving it away. They go up 4 nothing, Durham, and we're like, oh, God, here we go. It's a repeat of yesterday. They're going to get their asses kicked. Well, within two innings, it's 5-4 to four, Reno. And, I mean, Reno looks like they're in the driver's seat, man. Yep. And then they go up. They go tie 5-5. Five five, 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 and right? then 6-5. to five. And then 6-5 to five, Reno. And they were like, and it's like, it's like the top of the eighth inning. Six to five Reno. All of a sudden, here comes Durham. It was the ninth five, inning they scored those five, five runs. runs. No, it was the eighth inning. Oh, it was the ninth inning. You're yeah, right. Because the game would have been over yes. had they not scored those five, five damn runs. runs. They scored five runs in yeah. one inning. There were some questionable pitching changes. Yeah. But through the entire the game. The gave that game away. Through the entire game, there was this herd of asshats. Like... I don't know. They were heckling, heckling the ball players. But like rude. They were heckling the fans. Rude. They were being so rude. And it was so bad that stadium management came out and made the usher talk to them together. Like they had to stand together to talk to the guy. Yeah. And but management handled that. Like they Because the umpire complained. The umpire complained. He was tired of it. And apparently both sides had complained about it. I mean Whatever they were saying, because you couldn't really clearly hear them, but you could tell they were really being rude. And I think it must have been really bad because oh, I could for that many them. people, for that many people to complain, that's a lot. Yeah, it was the stuff they were saying was unnecessary. Well, and that's that's the problem. And they were really heckling the catcher for the aces and the beer dude. That's just terrible. Yeah, but but there we were. Okay, so then we're like. Ah, let's take a deep breath. So we have today, but today we have to do this because this is our keeping us on our weekly schedule. Right. And you'll hear this about a month after it actually happened, so, you know, figure it out, but whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> ah, whoop, whoop. Anyway, then Tuesday, here we go again. 
back to see them knights kick some butt. Some coyote tail. Well, and then it just gets crazier. Like, I'm gone then, for the weekend. Then she's and leaving then leaving for the weekend. And so then I'm we have alone. NASCAR. And then we have something else. And then we have drag we have, racing. We have, we have NASCAR. Then we have nothing. We have a weekend off. And then we have um, drag racing the next week. And then we have the air show slash... No, the just air the show. air show. And, and then, then a couple weeks later, couple weeks we have Stone, later, Temple, Stone Pilots. Temple Pilots. And then it's Thanksgiving. Yeah. And then Thanksgiving. Holy Toledo, man. Then your birthday. Then I, mean, I don't have a then birthday. Then Christmas. Then Alyssa's birthday, my birthday, Mitchell's birthday, all in a row. Kabang, kabang, kabang. And then in February, maybe we can take a break. Yeah, take a deep breath. <sighs> Correct Amundo. Correct Amundo. Uh, so, so anyway... That was our crazed weekend, and that's what's upcoming for us. We have jumped in head first. But I, you know what I'm going to say? I'm not a big fan of run, run, run every single weekend. I'm not. But sometimes you bear with a such series like this because it's exciting stuff. It's all, all the stuff we're seeing, we want to see. It's, right. It's not like we're being forced to It just kind of so right. happened. It that just it so was happened like that it all bam, piled bam, bam. right up. But then there's going to be a period there where there's not going to be anything to do on the weekend, and we're just going to hang out at home anyway. So it all balances itself out over the course of the year. Eventually, yeah. And I think it's just been a lot for the last just, like, month and a half. I just think it's interesting because we don't really mind being busy as much because we're choosing right. the event we're going to. And I think that's, that's a big, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Difference. Yeah, a big difference between that and the and like the soccer tournament, for instance. We didn't have a say in that. We we certainly didn't have a say what time they would play. That was terrible. We always had to be there at like six o'clock in the morning. Terrible. And it, it would be a lot of hurl up and hurry up and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. And then yeah. they play, and that part was great. Yeah. And then more waiting. Yeah. And well, and especially waiting. the beach tournaments, because as much fun as they were. Too many people descending on that place in one little spot. Not enough parking. And, oof. and then you have to talk to people you don't like. <laughs> and be polite to everyone. Pretty I'm much. just not very good at that anymore. Pretty much. You, you do your job. <laughs> so, and then the last thing that I think we should talk about before we go is to give a CEO update. You know, the... The CEO, the Yog Dog, has had a like a kidney infection. Correct? He has a bladder stone. Uh, so he had a bladder infection, which gave that. him a UTI, and had a or bladder, vice versa. And, he, and he, he now has a stone in his bladder that we had to change his food in order to get rid of. Um, he had a bad infection, but now that seems to be gone. Yeah. So there he is. You know the the, the CEO is you know riding high and tall but he's he's funny because he has gotten so comfortable here and the routine <laughs> that we have here <laughs> that he anticipates it. like for instance i've gotten into the routine of cleaning the driveway every sunday morning now it's just when it happens it mm-hmm. seems to be our least busy day of the week for like let's go do this let's go do that we just do it. That's our Sunday. It's our, our kind of our day off, so to speak. Um, he just knows that I'm going to take him outside with me. And he just comes walking out of the bedroom when I'm leaving. And then close the door behind me. He comes out with me and he sits there and he just observes while I clean. He oversees. And then he loves going running over across to the park. It's hilarious. He's mad at happens. us right now, though. Well, yeah, because of all the... The stuff we just talked about. He's no. pissed. No, he's he's more pissed for another reason. So about a month ago, the Yog Dog Dog discovered that he could squeeze oh. through the gate. Yeah, I forgot about through this. Through this like two inch wide slat hole. Yeah, I do gate. not know how the toodle made it through there. I do I not He must know. be made of like marshmallows or something. I don't know. Anyway, so what happened was he was out there and a firework went off. And so he squeezed through the gate, all terrified, and came and scratched at the front door. Thank God. Right. Right. Thank God the Yog Dog is a smart boy. 
But then, then he decided, well, I can just squeeze through this thing whenever I want. So then he, we'd put him outside for like 10 minutes to go to the bathroom. And, you know, before anyone yells and screams, you know, we don't have coyotes running around here, but we do keep an eye out for that on a routine basis. Right. Um, and we review video footage daily to make sure we haven't missed anything. And so we're well aware of what's going on in our, in our backyard. But back to this. Here he goes. Go out to get the yog dog. Where is he? Oh, he's squeezing back in from being out front after squeezing out. And he just kept doing that. So you, we couldn't leave him out there. So <laughs> One day he go to the, Mike goes to the backyard and he's like, where's Yogi? And I go to the front door and I open the door and there he is wagging his little tail. <laughs> Little dingus was just running around trying to cause havoc, but now he can't do that. We installed some lattice because we installed a lattice on the gate and screwed it on, so he can't just. It's not put on with like cheap zip ties. No, no, no. It is now part of the gate. We mounted this son of a bitch right to the gate, and there you go. Now there's a nice lattice fencing. And Yogi can't escape. Yes, yes. So we've solved a huge problem because now the CEO is it's stuck with us. <laughs> <laughs> he can't get away. And now I tease him when he when I put him outside. I come back and I go, "Oh look, Yogi, you're still here. Of course you are. You can't squeeze through those little holes." And then I go, "Come on in." And I just harass him a little bit about it because you know. He gave me a heart attack like six times, so I'm going to give him some crap. It's pretty simple. Seems reasonable. So, you know, that's only good for you. I, I, I spoke a lot tonight. Uh, I'm very talkative because I'm kind of in an excited, happy, um, he sad, watched three days of happy baseball. sad mood. And I He's did. Excited. I got to spend three nights with my beautiful woman and the baseball field. And in between there, I got to go see my favorite local band, Velvet Elvis. Boom. Ooh. I mean, it was it was the perfect weekend. We had such a good time. And that Alrighty. is maybe the title of this episode. Maybe the that's why we're so tired weekend. today. Yeah, I'm a little slow today, too. I'm kind of like a little bit, you know, ready to just nod off and go to sleep. So with that, you know. Good night, everyone. Hasta la bye bye. Thank you for listening to the Nightly Rant. If you enjoyed the show, please give us a five star rating on Apple Podcasts or Google Play. If you didn't enjoy the show, please just ignore that previous request for a rating. This has been a Yogi's Podcast Network production. 